Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to see you all. Hope we're all okay today. Just going to get the Twitch on the go. Uh, let's see how long it takes Josh and Dave to get on here. They were very quick last uh, the other day. I wasn't expecting them to do that so quickly. Bloody hell, Josh, that was quick. That's true. Yeah, you're usually there first. We've just got to say, I mean, if I came on straight away and said boobs, then Dave would probably be on before you. But yeah, you and me right, you and me right hand, man. I'm all right. I enjoyed the day off. I'm going to enjoy tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday as well. So yeah, uh, hope you're all right, mate. How are you? How long do you reckon before Dave gets here, Josh? I still think Dave's um, AI software. I don't think he's a real person. I still think he's uh, AI. Somebody having a joke with me, I think. <laughs> Still there, Dave? Um, you still there, Josh? Hello, Dave. Nice to see you, to see you nice. How are you? Josh was here, but he's disappeared. So I don't know. I don't know where he's gone. Can yeah, you can. I thought my mic was playing up there. Oh, he is here. I thought you disappeared, Josh. No sound? Huh? You can't. Oh, hold on. Hello. Huh. Oh, that's weird. Why can't you hear me? I don't know why, because my software's working fine. You can hear me. So how come some of you can hear me and some of you can't? That's really weird. Hello, Katan. Nice to see you again, my friend. So no, can any, 
Is that any better? Can everybody hear me? Oh, you plonkers. Joe Gacy in a mask. What? I, I'm really confused right now. Dave, are you just saying random things just to confuse me? Oh, I have to. At least Katan could hear me. Thank you, Katan. Why, why are you putting me on mute all the time? Why? Am I that, am I, is my voice that horrible? You know? The sun's out, gun's out today, Lance. I've got the, I've got the, I've got the, the denim vest on today. Yeah, exactly. Don't show the twins, Dave. Don't show the twins. They might get too stimulated. Exactly. I work hard at the gym. Right. I'll give it like another minute and then I'm going to start the... Uh, I've, I've already booked Starcade for me. One slipped off a chair. Well, there you go. My question to you is, well, why didn't the other one slip off a chair as well? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's my pay-per-view. This is my Starcade. So I think it's Josh next Saturday, your event. And then I think the, the Saturday after that will be your event, Dave. Well, I can't, I can't remember. Some months it's me first, Josh second, and you third. And then there's other months where I've swapped it around a bit. So, right then. How many? Uh, uh, probably two at the most. One or two. I can't remember. I can't look on it. I'll have a look. When, when I'm finished doing this, I'll have a look and then I'll let you know. Well, then you, you're very well prepared. I think yours is next week. Will it let, I don't think it'll let me go into events now because I'm already click continue. Yeah, see, won't let me. Uh, quick diary, maybe? No. Oh, Jimmy Uso's contract's expiring in 51 days. Anyway, uh, right, let's get cracking with the, let's start the show. Yeah, it says events and TV, but it's black. It's it's because I've already started. It won't let me show you. Yeah, I've already offered Carmella a new deal. So yeah, don't worry. Right, let's get let's get this show on the road. Uh, eighty-one rating for the opener, which was Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Kalisto and Metalik. Uh, unfortunately. Dragon and Rey Mysterio don't click, so they probably won't wrestle as a team again after that. Um, I decided to have Sami Zayn versus Okada for the European title. And Sami Zayn wins, got a 91 rating. Uh, I did an angle with Steve Austin and Sting, got a 94 rating. Uh, did an did an angle with the, the Bloodline Muscle. Uh, with Paul Heyman basically on the mic and then the rest are just in the background. I didn't make that mistake again. You see five sexy. <laughs> We're having a mask party. <laughs> right. Uh, I did a... I did a uh, basically, I had two... two Tag team feuds, I think. So I just decided to put the four teams against each other. Uh, the Street Profits defeated the Bloodline, Los Lafarios and AOP. So they are the new tag team champions. Uh, the fans were turned off by the finish of the match. I don't know why. And then I did a match with Steve Austin uh, versus Sting. Steve Austin won. Unfortunately, I can only do it for 10 minutes because of Stone Cold's uh, and Sting's condition. Yeah, so that that will dock me points, but I don't care. Um, did a four-way, no, a seven-way match um, with Ronda, Charlotte, Bailey, Alexa Bliss, Maya Yim, Tegan Knox, and Zoe Stark. Ronda Rousey won. 
Uh, Mai Yim was angry after the match, upset with Ronda Rousey, almost injured her with a botched move. So Ronda Rousey's got a bit of heat with Mai Yim now, Mia Yim. Um, did an, I did an Iron Man match with Andrade and Bobby Lashley. Andrade won. Got an 84 rating. Uh, 94 rating for the angle with CM Punk and Randy Orton. And then the match got a 91 rating. I did a cage match. CM Punk defeated Randy Orton. And then uh, I did an angle with John Cena and Happy Corbin. Got a 99 rating, which is nice to see. And then the match got a 95 rating. Happy Corbin defeats John Cena in 25 minutes in the main event to retain the World Heavyweight title. And I got a 93 rating. So, Josh, you're the historian. Make a note of that. 93. We'll do a separate document for events. That'll probably be the best way to do it, isn't it? So, yeah, 93 rating. But not too bad. 93. Going to be going to be relatively tough for you to to beat that, Josh. And if you do, I still feel like I made the best effort I could do. I would have got a higher score if I hadn't have done Sting versus Steve Austin um, and stuff like that. And uh, there's a few things that let me down, but I think overall I'm quite happy with that effort. Carmelo agrees to a new contract with us, so you've got a uh, ah. Oh. We didn't get Ali. We didn't get the bunny. The bunny decided to uh, stay with AEW. Sorry, so um, sorry, Dave. Unfortunately, you won't get the bunny. Uh, Rey Mysterio Senior is retiring from active competition in one month. That's fine because he never wrestles anyway. Thank you, Josh. I think I'm thinking. I think the next show is me because. Raw, so you're gonna have to watch me try and book that really, really quick. You done your first year with? Oh my God! Well, you managed to do a season, so there you go. So at least it's that. We, uh, I think me and Dave will be shocked to hear that. How did you get on with Leicester? I assume you got promoted. Let me just check the chat so I ain't missed anything. You won the championship. Okay. Any good signings? Yeah, De Gea is always the go-to signing for me when it comes in the first season. He, he actually, I don't, I'm surprised you're able to sign him because he's he's signed for a Saudi team now, isn't he? So he shouldn't be. He should on the update, the winter update, he should be playing for that Saudi team. But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it, mate. Are you uh, sticking with it in season two or already bored? <laughs>
Just bear with us, I'm just trying to figure out to put in this much. Well, let me just check the chat, someone missing anything, sorry. Ah, uh, before the winter update, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, done well then. I, uh, I was bored yesterday, Josh, and I was curious how much it would cost to rent somewhere in Brighton. In case it all went tits up with my missus, I'm like, I'm moving to Brighton. <laughs> and uh, there's some nice flats there that are reasonably priced. They're, uh, they're one-bedroom flats, so, um, yeah, I couldn't find a two-bedroom place for any anything cheaper than, say, 900. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll come and live with you, mate. You'll be all right. Your missus won't mind. <laughs> I'm very well health-trained. I'll put the toilet seat down after I finish with it. So, you know, and, and I do the washing up, so I'm probably uh I'm probably a step up from you. So, um she I, I think I think she'd have me in there and kick you out because I'm a better uh a, a better housemate than you are. <laughs> I'm only joking, Josh, don't worry. His rent's just gone up three to three hundred, so he has to yeah, it's because it's because it's um, it's a it's a very big um LGBTQ um place in it. It's like a safe area for them to live, so that's why the house price, the the, the rental prices are so high. Uh, eighty nine minutes so far. Right. Uh, like so. Right. Huh? Why can't I have Sting in the match? What's going on here? Oh, I don't know. I'll figure it out in a minute. Um... Uh... Put Steve Austin in. Oh no, we can't put Steve Austin. Sammy Zane's fine. And then uh, Randy, happy. Uh, need to change that. Right, hundred and eighty minutes. That's nearly two hours. Uh, probably change this to, oh, no, 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 wrong. Right, I'm ready to go. I'm booking this now. There we go. Done. Yeah, I ain't messing around. I'm an, I was annoyed that I was annoyed I didn't win every single week in that last stream that we did. It pissed, it pissed me off, god damn it. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. Um yeah, 95 rating, 80 rating in the match. It's the John Cena effect. Uh little angle that we did, got an 85 rating. The match between Charlotte and Zoe got an 82 rating, which is good. Uh storyline with um 
Bailey and Alexa Bliss isn't really hitting it, is it? It's not really doing very well. Um, did a four versus four match, only got a 78 rating. Rey Mysterio seemed off his game. Leva Bates, oh my god, Leva Bates is a road agent, we need to get rid of her. Uh, Josh, remind me after this one to get rid of Leva Bates. Or at least get her away from being a road agent, because she's not very good at it. Right, uh, did an angle that got a 92 rating. And then the match got a 94 rating. CM Punk and Sami Zayn have great chemistry, that's good to see. 91. So, 91 for this week. I am happy with that. Yeah, it does help having... When you get massive angle scores, it does help having uh, really good talkers on the game. I wouldn't say necessarily all in real life. Thank you, Joss. Yeah, because Corbin means money, um, Josh. That's why he got a 92 rating. Because, well, also he was in a match with Randy Orton, CM Punk and Sami Zayn. I mean, they could carry a broom and get the 92 match. Let's be honest. Or he could be in that match and it would be 92. Especially that ass. <laughs> I guess sarcasm, by the way, Dave. I hope you know that, <laughs> young man. Right, Trent Barretta's contract's expiring with AEW, so he'll be a good hand in the mid-card to have. Uh, I'm just going to offer him a little bit more than what he's... Oh, uh, we can't. Uh, okay. Right, let's hope that AEW doesn't beat us. Uh, Sting to retire from active competition in one month. We've got to make the most of Sting while we can. I'm going to book him as much as possible for the next four weeks. Uh, I just need to continue now, don't I? Yeah. Any wrestling news today? Anything worth noting? Was Dynamite any good? Did you watch Dynamite? I haven't watched it yet. I'm, I'm going to watch it today or tomorrow. Probably watch it today after this if I can get it, if I can fit it in. Just see how it goes. Katan, Katan, are you still here, mate? Are you still here or are you gone? Didn't watch it. Money is all it. Yeah, yeah. That's that was like the biggest non non surprise ever, wasn't it? No, I know. I'm glad she's there though. Uh, Emery Sakura, Emery Sakura, whatever her name is. Her contract's expiring. Whether she'll join us is a different story. Uh, she only wants to join for nine months. Yeah. So, uh, Steve Carino is a road agent for us. His contract's expiring, so we'll just offer him a new contract, keep him here. Uh, right, I need to sort out lever baits before I forget. Uh, reputation 89, respect is only 24. We'll just send her to NXT. Right. Right, so we've got Dynasty tonight. So, Dave, have you got your have you got your show ready or do you want to just do it on the off the cuff? Hold on, let me just read Josh's messages.
can you make it so I have two shows before a pay-per-view, so I need two to build to the pay-per-view. Make mine this weekend. Can you can you make it so that two shows before pay per So you want two SmackDown episodes of SmackDown before you do your pay-per-view? I can't change it now, though, can I? Yeah, but how, how though? I can't. Well, I can't at this, at this specific second. I've got to wait for Dave to do his show first. I can't go into events and change. Oh, all right, I'll change it. I'll change it after this. Just remind me, you're pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, it's fine. Right then, Dave, let me know when you want to. Uh... Let's get Dave's. There we go, Dave. Thank you. We'll get Dave's show out of the way first, Josh, and then we'll figure it out afterwards. Uh. AJ Lee versus Io Sky. I can't see some of it because the stupid arrow thing's in the way. So I don't know what do you want just who do you want to win uh the AJ Lee Io Sky match? Or was it an angle that you've put? Io, oh, yeah. okay. Oh that's what you put. Okay. Because obviously because for some reason you can't see it, I don't think, but it, it it's 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 saying pin this message or click to reply and because I can't untick them. Yeah, right. Let me get this show sorted then. Have you not got a women's singles belt, uh, Dave? I thought you had a women's... I know you got the women's tag team belts. I just assumed you had a, a women's singles belt, but obviously not. Do you want the Divas belt? Okay, you don't want the Divas belt, that's fine. Uh, are you Sky? No, you don't like booking women. You like you like doing something that's similar that sounds similar to booking. <laughs> I'm all right, Josh. But a bunch. I'm here all week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't type it, Dave, for God's sake. We all know what it is. Come on. Right. Imperium versus uh, Cody and Riddle Angle. I'm really confused. Right. Yeah, looking. Right. So on the second bit here, you've put Imperium versus... Oh, sorry. It's all right. I missed... I thought you wanted it as an angle, but you want the next thing to be an angle with... Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm half asleep, I'm a bit tired today, so you just have to bear with us. Right, Imperium. Hello, JBR3Z. I don't think AEW get better with Sasha Banks. She still doesn't have to draw me to a match. Okay. I mean, I love Sasha Banks, but, you're, you know, each to their own, isn't it? Everybody's different. We're all entitled to like different stuff. I would say Ronda Rousey, when she started, when she first come into it, was a draw because of the fact that she'd come from, she's like come from, she conquered UFC. So she was, a, when it comes to women viewers, she made a big impact on UFC with women viewers. So, and then when she went to WWE, she was a bit of a draw. Right. Let's do the tag match. Do you only have two tag teams, Dave? Because you seem to be doing the same match over and over again with the tag teams. Uh, Jeff Cobb's not happy with that, so I'll just put keeping him strong just to keep him happy. 
All right, Andor, AJ Lee, microphone. Who was it that was, uh, oh, Apollo Crews on it. Apollo. I think you put Bron Breaker if I remember. Bron Breaker. I wouldn't say no one cares about women's wrestling. I I I get into the the women's uh, feuds and stuff. I'm really into the Bailey Io Sky feud, uh the Rhea Ripley Becky Lynch feud I'm into. Um I think the days of re women's wrestling being boring are over with. I think they they put more of an effort. The women's Royal Rumble match for instance was way better than the men's Royal Rumble match. Let me catch up with the chat, everyone. Uh, Sasha is just an uh, actual thing for me. I think that's just her persona. I mean, she's very well liked by all the all the wrestlers. So I can't imagine if she was like really horrible, um, she wouldn't have as many people in the business that root for her. Dave, come on, this bra and panties bullshit. Sorry for swearing. Um, there you go. See, well, we we we've come to agree, and. Um, Dave, can you just do me a favour? Can you just copy and paste the, the show again? Because it would take me forever to scroll back up. If you don't mind, if it's not too much trouble. I can't remember what you did for the anvil. Was it Bron Breaker? Oh, no, let me scroll up because you're probably busy. Yeah, I'll copy and paste it. Oh, you've done it. It's all right. It saves me doing it. Thank you. Right. Just give me a minute. Uh, LA, right. Okay. So that's fine. You know, you're doing an angle with Apollo Crews and Bron Breaker, but you haven't got a storyline for it. Do you want me to create a storyline so this makes a difference? I'll just leave it for now. Okay, I'll add a storyline first. All right, add storyline. Right, sorted. Right then, let's get the rest of this show done. Judgment Day, oh my god. Also, Jonah, you can just pronounce my username as Jay Breeze, which is easy for it. Yeah, probably is, isn't it? Jay Breeze. I'll just call you Jay. There you go, I'll just call you Jay. Easier. Right, Judgment Day versus New Day. New Day win. So you're having the New Day win the tag titles then, yeah? Just let me know if that's wrong. No titles, so it's a non-title tag team match then. Okay. Okay. 
I just, I'll just, I'll just put my titles on all the time. I do. I don't. I don't think it matters. Uh, right. So this angle. Have you done this in the wrong? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Dave, you know me too well. <laughs> too many, too much chatting going on. I don't mind the chat though. Don't worry, I'm only joking. All right, Apollo Cruz versus Ivar. Okay. Uh, angle, new day on Judgment Day, Finn, and new day on Mike. Anyway, as my girlfriend pointed out, why are the Kabuki Warriors now called Damage Control? That's Bailey's group. They shouldn't be allowed to be called um, Damage Control. And I totally agree with her. Right, JD McDonough versus Kofi, um, versus Big E, sorry. Big E, JD. Nakamura and AJ Styles. This is Aaron's win. Nah, I don't think I don't think the Rock's daughter will end up being in it for long. I think she'll give up. I, I think she'll quit wrestling. I just don't. She's not a wrestler at the moment. I don't think she wants to be. I think she's good enough to be a wrestler. Um, I mean, they might. The only thing I can see her doing is becoming manager for the Bloodline down the road. I don't think she's going to be doing anything major. I know she's the NXT uh, GM, but they obviously don't raise her in the ring. Ronda's quite no. Nah, Ronda doesn't like WWE at the moment. I don't think she'll come back. Um, I think if if you're going to see her anywhere, it's going to be AEW now. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Saves me scrolling up. Right, so let me just get this straight. You want Nakamura and AJ Styles versus, right, and then an angle afterwards. Do you want the angle? I assume you want the angle before the match, don't you? You've done it the wrong way around, didn't you? Because they wouldn't have a match and then do an angle afterwards where they're on the mic, would they? So you want it in the other way around than what you wrote, yeah? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Just wanted to double check. Uh okay. No, not Shane Elms. Uh Kevin Owens. Microphones, Zina Kamora, Bonson Ree. My uh my girlfriend's very impressed by Bronson Reed. She liked she liked him in the match that he had in that Gauntlet match. She's very well impressed by his athleticism for such a big guy. And I also found out that I'm only twenty pounds lighter than Bronson Reed, so that made me sad. Um, so yeah.
Who do you want to win? AJ and Nakamura. Right, so you've got 158 minutes, so you're, you're fine. Right, is there anything you want to add or change? Dave, before I click continue. No, you just want me to continue, yeah? Fingers crossed, Dave. Hope it works well. So your first match... Um, got an 80 rating. Yeah, the second match that you did got an 83 rating. Uh, Imperium won. The angle with AJ, Apollo and Bron Breaker got a 70 rating. Uh, the New Day defeated the Judgment Day and that got a 92 rating. Uh, Finn Balor seemed off his game, but he's still got a 92 rating, so that's pretty good. Uh, Apollo Crews got, uh, got a 93 rating. Uh, definite lack of psychology. I think it's because um, the match was 20 minutes long with with them, so there maybe might have been better to next time put like a slow build thing on there, see if it makes any difference. Uh, the angle that you did with New Day and Judgment Day got a 76 rating. Finn Balor struggled to go in off the script. Uh, the Big E J D McDonough match got a 81 rating. And then the angle that you did with uh, AJ, Kevin, Nakamura and Bronson got an 88 rating. And then the tag match with the same four got a 90 rating. AJ Lee and Nakamura have great chemistry together. Right, let's have a look. I did, I did just click on it, didn't I? Oh, there you go. 89. 89. It was a good effort, though, Dave. Did I put AJ Lee? No, I didn't. I didn't put AJ Lee and Nakamura together. Did I? Not bad for the third tier show. <laughs> no, we're all equal, Jay. We're all equal. Oh, I said AJ Lee. Yeah, they're the same. They look the same. AJ Lee, AJ Styles, same. Same, innit? Right then, let's finish this show. And then, why is it not letting me click on it now? Oh, that's, oh, there you go. A turn, that looks quite scary, doesn't he? Uh, we failed to get uh, Emmy Sakura because she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to come to a space because she just wants to stay as a freelancer. Oh, balls! I pressed continue, Josh. Didn't I? Sorry. I need to remember to check the uh, events. Hold on. You need more mail workers. We can have a look at that in a second. Let me get Josh's thing out of the way first. Uh, you can have Brandon Cutler. His contract's expiring. I'll sign him just for you.
Right, before I forget, let me go on this. Right, can you see what I can see? Yes, you can. Right, Josh, have a little look. Let me know what you want to do. And then, once I've sorted this out... <sighs> Getting old now, my legs are not hurting after a while. Um, Josh, is there anything you want me to change with this? Do you want me to swap? Too confused? Why? What's wrong? How many Smackdown shows before my... Oh, I don't know. Uh, right, hold on. What month are we in? Right, we're in week two, May. So, let's have a look at the May ones. Where are they? Week two. So you are... Your next show... Your big pay-per-views this, this uh, week. So, it's this Saturday. This... Move to week three. Well, I think week three, unfortunately, is uh, odd on then. Let me swap these two around. Dave, you don't mind, do you? Because I don't, I don't think it makes any difference, does it? Let's be honest. So we'll have that as Dynasty. So, you, so Dave's got his next show this Saturday. Uh, and then I need to change this one to... Oh, I forgot to change the brand. Hold on. I'm all over the place today. It's your fault, uh, Josh, with your bloody complications. <laughs> I'm only joking. Don't worry. Um, brand. Where's brand? There we go. All right, so that one's a SmackDown brand now. Let me just go back and change this to make sure that, that, that Dave's got a pay-per-view coming up in May. There we go. Right. Is everybody happy? Josh, are you happy now? You want you want yours on week four now? So we're gonna have a week where there's no pay per views, you know that, don't you? Which is fine, I'm not I'm not having an issue with it. We can't do we can't do We can't hold on. Let me read. You have a paper? Yeah, I know. So we can't change in them now, can we? No, it's never too. It's never enough. Well, I thought Money in the Bank would be a good one because we could pick. We could do. We could do two Money in the Bank matches, and we could pick two men each, and do a six-man limit uh, Money in the Bank match for the men, and then do the same for the women, and then we'll see who wins. No, no, we don't want to delete money in the bank. What? What's okay? Explain to me why having on a game have. I think it should. Is this just your opinion? Because it as a wrestling fan, or do you, or is it actually going to affect the popularity of the promotion on the game? Right. I just assumed you all wanted an, an event each. I feel like I'd rather personally have a, one event each. I know it's up to you. Like it's up to you two. Ultimately, if if I, I will put it to a vote, if Dave wants to do event every month each, that's fine. If he'd rather do what you suggested, then I'll just have to change it. But it's going to take me ages now to change it back, isn't it? I don't mind doing that, but you're just going to have. To, I'm going to have to probably do that after we finish this stream. I ain't going to be able to do it now because. It will probably take me the rest of the stream just to sort it all out. Dave, what do you want to do, mate? Do you want to stick to what we've got or do you want to change it to what Josh suggested? I just thought... Only, only because I thought, well, it means... go Because like, obviously the reason why they did the brand split in the first place, WWE... 
was to have their own events so then other wrestlers could get a look in. If we go to, what, 12 pay-per-views a year and then basically only have two matches each on that event, that means there's going to be a lot of wrestlers are not getting any pay-per-view time. So then that means there'll be less need for us to do storylines because we're only going to have two matches in the in the event. So what the whole point of having storylines is to lead to the pay-per-view. So that's the only reason I've done it. If you genuinely want me to change it, I'll change it. I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. I just want to make sure it's like, like I said, I put I did all this because I assumed everybody wanted an event each month. So is there four weeks gap between? So, oh, you like to build it, don't you? Um. So, yeah, but when it comes to building, you can still build it. You've got you've got one pay per view every month. Some months you might have a, a pay per view where you'll have two matches in that pay per view. So you're only going to have one of one event each month, which you can build to, and you've got the the big events like Money in the Bank, SummerSlam. WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, there'll be all of us. There'll be like the whole brand, the whole WWE. But you'll still have your own. So you can still build. Are you sure? Because I don't want to, I don't want you to put, be put off by it. You still got like, let's have a look at yours. So your next event is in May. And then obviously the Money in the Bank one as well. So then after that, your next event is week two in June. So from week, you've got like two weeks from, you've got actually, you've got, you've got three weeks from your pay-per-view to build to the next pay-per-view because you don't necessarily have to build much for Money in the Bank because it's essentially, we're just picking our two best wrestlers to be put in the Money in the Bank match. So it's not like you need to build a storyline or anything like that. And then... Um, so we're looking at, so we're looking at your, so your next pay-per-view is the second week of June. And then after that, your next pay-per-view is the second week of July. So that's a four week run in between each pay-per-view and so on and so on. There might be some months where you're a little bit sooner, but we can check it month by month so you can get an idea. Are you happy? If you're happy, I'm happy. I just want you to both be happy. Okay, right then. Um, Josh, uh, not Josh, Dave, do you have any idea um, which wrestlers you want to bring in? Do you want me to have a look um, and look for particular attributes so you can look for wrestlers? I feel like we've got every single good wrestler that's available, haven't we? You want to see, oh, you want to see, uh, you want to do a little tradey trade, do you? If you don't want any women on your roster, um, no. Then again, I'm, I, my my women's roster is quite stacked. I don't really need anybody, right? So let's have a look at Josh's male roster. Uh, there we go. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Figure out who you want to trade. Let me know. I'm going to check. I'm bored. I'm going to check Instagram. <laughs> you like your men meaty, don't you? <laughs> Are you on about Dave's ladies, as in his real life ladies, or on, or his roster? Are you on about the twins? He'll never show us a photo of the twins. They don't. They're they're they're, they're an imagination in his head. <laughs> I'm only joking, Dave. I believe you really. I'm just messing. There you go. There's his women's roster. Show me Dave's ladies. <laughs> yeah, Dave. Show us your ladies. Come on.
can't give you Mandy Rose, can he? Because Mandy Rose is in the storyline. Unless he edits the storyline and gets rid of uh, Mandy Rose. Yeah, take like remove from the storyline. So we're doing Mandy Rose for Killian Dane, yeah? Oh, leave Dave alone. <laughs> right, uh Mandy Rose. No, Killian Dane. Right, is there anything anybody else wants me to do? Jay Breeze, if any of uh, the other two are ever ill, you can be the um, you can be their uh, substitute GM for the day. There you go. Show me my men. I don't know why that sounds so dodgy in, in when you say that. Oh no, here we go. Uh, exit, exit, exit. Oh god, how do we get out of this now? Ah, uh, come on, click, 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 click. Something to work. Come on, get out of here. Ah, oh, it's so annoying when this happens. Ah. Uh. Is it here somewhere? Here? Here? Why won't you let me do it? This is so annoying. I know. It bloody drives me mad. Right, I'm just going to exit TW. Oh, there we go. I got rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> that was unintentional. Right. Let me save it before we think. Uh, you want to look at your male roster, don't you? Right. Let's have a look. There we go. Male, wrestler, dynasty. There is your male roster. Your male roster is very stacked. Compared to Josh, for instance, and mine, you've got probably you've probably got one third more male roster than me and Josh have on ours, I think. Yeah, why have you never had it and I have, Josh? I don't know. Is it the skin that I'm using, do you reckon? I'm not using a skin though, am I? Or it might be. It might be something like that, wouldn't it? My issue is I have seven written down to book. Hold on. I need to... Let me just get out of this because I need to get rid of thingamajig out of the storyline before I forget and then I'll go back. Uh, where is it? Is there a storyline with Mandy Rose, or have I got that complete? Oh, yeah, she is, she is, yeah. Remove. Do you want to Do you want to replace her with anybody? Who do you want to replace? Uh, is it Piper Niven? <laughs> okay, I'll show you... Um, any woman, okay, throw her in. Have you got Piper Niven in? I think you have. Is it Pip? Oh, there you go. Yeah, she's on Dynasty, so we'll just add her. So, and then we just do. Right, you want to look at your, your roster again, don't you? Uh, if I scroll down to there, there you go. I'm just going to listen to my audio clip off my girlfriend.
Just bear with this lads, so it won't be long. Right, I'm done. Sorry about that. Right. Real life got in the way then. Basically, my um, my partner had to take a work colleague to hospital A&E. So, yeah, she doesn't know when she's coming back. So I was a bit, I was a bit worried then. Right. Uh, Dakota Kai. You want Dakota Kai? In? I've, I've put Piper Niven in now. You want Dakota Kai instead of Piper Niven in the storyline? Okay, so you want you want Dakota Kai in instead. That is my fault for not looking at the screen before I did it, so uh why can I never find it? It's the first one, isn't it? Oh I'm such an idiot. Right. So I'll just leave I'll just leave Piper Niven in there so it gives you a bit of uh leeway and then I can just add Dakota Kai in it and then we could just have Dakota Kai with no affiliation. That's a really old photo of her. What's going on there? I'm not having that. Uh, how do I? Oh, that's it, isn't it? Why aren't you? Uh, oh, I know why, because I can't do it in that one. Right. There we go. I'm just going to change that photo to Code of because it makes me sad. Oh, I'll let you just do this first. Have you made note of your male wrestlers first? End the... Oh, okay. I'll end the storyline. Why don't... Well, no. Instead of ending it, why don't you just... Why don't you just get rid of... Yeah, but Chelsea Green's only injured for a bit, isn't she? Chelsea Green's only injured for a bit, so you can carry on the storyline and just have Piper Niven and Dakota Kai in there. Let me show you how long... Let me see how long she's injured for. Medical... No, she's not. She's all right now. She's back from injury. Oh, bloody hell. I brought bloody crazy Steve into this, and he's out for 10 months and three weeks. Flipping hell. I'm getting rid of him. I'm not having him on here if he's not going to bloody wrestle. Right, crazy Steve, where are you? Josh, we will get to get round to booking your show soon enough, I promise. Right, so that's that, and then uh, Dakota Kai. Actually, I need to get rid of. Where is he? Him, because he's not the real Braun Strowman. He's just a fraud. Right, Dakota Kai. Where's the? Oh, there she is. That's better. That's more recent-ish. Right, okay, let me look at the chat now. Uh what the fuck is crazy Steve? He was he's in the, he was in that tag the the with Abyss in uh the tag team called Decay. He's been in TNA for a while, I thought you would have known who he is. Do you want uh, right, so Dave, do you want to keep the storyline and just put Piper Niven in with Chelsea Green or Dakota Kai, or do you want me just to just to get rid of any women's storylines that you've got going? But Josh, you seem to know a lot about. Okay, you seem to know a lot about TNA. You talk to me about TNA all the time. I just assumed you still watched it. Right then, Josh. Uh, we've got a few backstage incidents. Nothing to worry about. Uh, no, no, no. It's never anything interesting, like negative, like wrestlers falling out. It's boring. Uh, okay. Right then, Josh. I'm ready when you are.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste what you what you put, and I'm just going to put it in what in a WhatsApp message to. Well, not I'm not going to send it to you, but I'm going to put it on WhatsApp between you and me, and then that way, if people chatting in here, I can still look back without getting too distracted. Uh, it's up to you. Do one by one. Do one by one. Yeah, it's probably easier for me to do it that way if you do it one by one. If you don't mind. Only because, like, obviously, if people are chatting, it disappears from the screen. Angle, Bloodline, Roman, Jimmy, Solo, Tala, Tala, Fena, Jey Uso, The Rock and Roman, Radar, Mike. God, join the Bloodline, begs them not to. Okay. I'm just going to copy this so that can be the name of the angle. Do you want that to only be six minutes or do you want it to be a little bit longer? Eight minutes, okay. Let me just check I've got this right. Yeah, so Roman, Jimmy, Solo, Tano, yeah, and then Jay Uso, yeah, Roman on mic. Okay, that's fine. I've done that right, so I'm happy with that. Uh no storyline advancement. I think at this point you need to do you not want to, do you want a storyline with Jay Uso and Roman Reigns? Because the last couple of shows you've done, you've done a lot of stuff with Jay Uso and the bloodline, but there's no storyline for it, is there? Are the Bloodline already in a storyline? They're, they're already in a storyline with Cody. Okay. Uh, storylines. Smackdown, the Bloodline. Do you want me to add Tama and Tonga as well? I assume that's it. Yeah, yeah. Is is Jay in a major role in it or a uh, supporting role? Because I've just put him in a major role. Put Tamara and Tonga in a supporting role. Right, and then I'll just... Right, that's that. All major, that is fine. Oh, sorry, mate. Do you want me to change it? Yeah, I always do open and decisive and winner, yeah. Since you told me the other day, I do that with mine and, uh, and Dave's as well. Okay. Uh, right, what's the next part then? Match one, G-O-D. Okay. Oh, ball, sorry. Ugh. Hold on, I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, there we go. Right. Right, that's that. Match two, Rhea Ripley beats Bianca Belair. Is this for the title? Or has Becky Lynch got the title? I can't remember. Who's the champion again? Uh, good question. Uh, Smackdown Women's. Becky Lynch. Yeah, Becky Lynch is your women's champion. Because Becky beat Rhea at WrestleMania for the title. But you just um, you haven't... Uh... Do you want to swap Bianca for Becky and have Rhea win the title? Or do you want to keep it on Becky for now?
All right, what's your next bit then? Angle, Drew, Cody, and Seth all rated on mic. Okay. Just use that, copy that, and use that as the name of the angle. Is that six minutes, eight minutes? Six, okay. Right, next. Match J and Leia Knight defeat Sal and Jimmy Uso. Okay, Jokey. Right, next. It's been 80 minutes so far. Shane is getting a bit of a push at the moment by you, by the looks of it. Pushing her to the moon. I reckon Shane is going to be the one that beats uh, Becky Lynch for your women's title at some point. I'm making that prediction now. Yeah, true. I won't. I won't disagree with you on the game. Uh, Shayna and Zoe Starks is actually my girlfriend's favourite tag team. I keep calling them the, the prison lesbians. Um, they pushed they push her as a heel a lot. I, she's very rarely been a babyface other than that storyline with um, Ronda. But yeah, it's, um, it's starting to gel... Zoe and Shayna, they're starting to gel as a tag team. Yeah, I think the reason why Shayna's not been pushed is because simply because Vince McMahon probably thinks she's too old because she is in her mid to late 30s. So it's probably why. Um, okay, I'll do that angle now. I'll just assume it's six minutes unless you tell me otherwise, Josh. Right, next. Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes beats Drew and Sheamus. That's the show, everybody. Okay, so let's start and see how it goes. Uh, 95 rating for the opening angle. Uh, apparently, Roman Reigns was superb working without a script. That's good. Uh, the opening match only got a wall, Josh. <laughs> yeah, that's going to balls you up. They don't rate. Who? Who is it that let the... 
Oh, they really don't rate Tam, tam unless it's the... Then why did you book them then? Is it just because you just thought you got to try and get them over? Okay, fair enough. Right, 67, so... Uh, Rhea Ripley defeated Bianca Belair, got a 95, 91 rating, sorry. Uh, match went too long, I think, because you probably, you probably need to do a slow build next time. Still good, though, 91. I think if you did a slow build, it'd probably get a higher rating, do you reckon? Uh... Right, the angle with the uh, with, with Cody and Seth and Drew got a 95 rating. Uh, apparently, Seth Rollins did not do well with that script. Uh, the tag match with Jay and LA Knight versus the Bloodline got an 87 rating. Jimmy Uso and Solo Sukhoi show excellent chemistry together, so that's good. Hold on a second. How can you have Paul... I need to get rid of... you got Paul Heyman as the manager of the Bloodline still. I need to sort that out afterwards. He's not supposed to be on SmackDown. You little sneak. <laughs> I don't think you noticed either, did you? I'm not having to go at you for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm getting rid of him as the Bloodline manager, so don't get too excited. You could have had him in angles this whole time. No, I don't think that would let you. Right. Uh, Shayna, Baylor, no, Shayna Baszler defeated Sonya Deville in 20 minutes with a knockout punch. Uh, got a 94 rating. Shayna and Sonya have great chemistry. But apparently there was lack of psychology. So if you did that one as a slow build as well. Um... Then you probably would uh you probably would have got a, like a bigger rating for the match overall. But yeah. Bloody hell, Shane, a hundred rating. They really rate her on this database, don't they? And then the uh opening segment is uh got an eighty five well not on the open not about the opening segment, just ignore me. Uh the angle that you did with Rock and Cody. Well, this is weird. Apparently, The Rock did not do well without a script. But, but if you look at the previous... Oh, this is so weird how they do that. 85 rating for that. And then the tag match got a 99 rating. Which is good. Right. 96, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you git. Ah, oh, now nah, well done. I think I got a 91 in mind, didn't I, in Raw? Was it 91 or 92? I can't remember. Nah, well done, Josh. Yeah, I hope you keep, you are keeping note of all the uh, the TV shows, not in you. Right, so we've got uh, Dave. We've got your pay per view on now. It is Dave's, isn't it? Yeah, Dave's. Uh, before before you start doing that, I need to uh, get rid of Paul Heyman as the line manager. I oh, know he's got the Rock as his manager, so that's fine. I think it's just Jimmy and uh, Solo that's got him as the managers. You're not having my bloody poor Heyman. Right. That's that done. I'm trying to get as much done as possible because I'm just bearing in mind that we've got... 
we've got an hour and tw we've done an hour and twenty two minutes so far, and we've only booked. I mean, I've booked my pay per view, and we booked a show each. Whereas last time we booked like six or seven shows in the the whole two hours. So I'm just trying to make sure that you two have got an equal amount of uh, time on it. Yeah, no, I'm not complaining. We've done well. Um, but I'm just bearing in mind that we've only got 40 minutes left. I mean, I can go slightly over if it comes down to it. I've not got an issue with that. Um, I have got stuff to do, though. I've got to sort out some uh, some stuff in the flat. So I probably can do 10 past 4 at the most. So it still gives us about nearly an hour. Okay, yeah, just do it a bit at a time then. So... Do you, do you, who do you want in the against them? Do you want me just to pick two t two random women wrestlers? So I put Piper and Dakota as a tag team. See if they gel. There you go. We'll see if they click. You never know. I might just created the 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 next best women's tag team ever. Oh, uh, right, so that's that. Right, what's your next bit? Right, next bit then, Dave. New Day, Defeating Judgment Day, Tag Titles on the line. Yeah, I did put the women's tag titles online, don't worry. Do you want me to get rid of that? I assume you didn't want me to put the tag titles on the line. I'll get rid of it, don't worry. Well, they're going to win anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? You want the champions to defend the tag titles. And it is a pay-per-view, isn't it? I assume... Oh, hold on, let me check. Did you want me to? Do you want me to put the women's tag titles on, or do you want me to get rid of them? There you go. I'll click on it so you can see. So yeah, the tag titles are on the line. But I can get rid of them if you want. Yeah, on. Okay, right. What's your next what's your next bit then? Have you got anyone? Let me just have a look to see if you've got anyone on the roster that you can just throw in at a random angle. Uh, on the microphone, we we'll do AT microphone, uh, Dynasty. So you can do Abyss, AJ, AJ, uh, both AJs, Batista, Biggie, Bill Goldberg, Bron Breaker, uh, Carlito, Dalton Castle, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Kofi Kingston, uh, Matt Riddle, Primo, Rob Van Dam, Rockstar Spud, Shelton Benjamin, Nakamura. And Xavier Woods. So you can do them if you wanted to put them uh, somebody in a random promo. So just Castle on his own, yeah? I'll just put Dalton Castle introduces himself. Oh, sorry, I forgot the I didn't see this other bit. Yeah, Cruz beats Brom for the title. Okay. You're going all in on uh, Apollo Cruz, aren't you? Fair play to you. Right. 
I'm just going to move that down, move that up, sorry. There you go. Right, what's the next bit then? I think what you need to do on your TV shows, Dave, is is try and get a few people over on the mic so you can get them to a point where they're adding to your show. Because we're lucky, me and Josh, we've got some like super people on the mic where you've got to build yours up. Which means you're going to have to make sacrifices on ratings at times, which is a shame. You can also do it on a pre... Josh, if he, if he put a couple of wrestlers doing promos on the pre-show, would that get their mic skills up without damaging the show too much? If it's a pre-show thing. No, that's fair enough. I might, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go on the next uh, Raw show. Test it out. Right then, Dave. What's your next bit? Bearing in mind you've you've got you've done seventy two minutes. You've got another just under two hours to book yet. There you go, Jay Breeze with the knowledge. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, sorry. <laughs> right, Biggie. That tickled me way more than it should have. Be first ever champion thirty minutes. Oh, have you not got a? Have you? Oh, have you this for the? Uh, oh, okay, fair enough. Do you want this to be your main event? Because you've got other stuff you've got to book yet, haven't you? Or you're having it in the middle of the card. But this is mid card after women's year main event. Okay, right. Imperium beat Viking Raiders. There we go. I think that's right in what you said. Right. You've done one hour and 58 minutes, which is two hours and 38 minutes. So you've got, you can do one more match if you want. You can do as many matches as you want, really. But I mean, if you want to, if you want to do a three hour show, my event, my event was four hours. I just, I just kept booking shit. So, because we haven't got any time constraints, so it's fine. Killian Day. Is that Dane, I think you meant? Yeah. Uh, Killian Dane. Bronson Reed. Big meaty men match. We love to see it. I wouldn't mind seeing Killian Dane versus uh, Bronson Reed in a match. Just got to remember to make sure that's not your main event. Right. Is there anything you want me to change before I carry on? He's being brave here. No angles. It might work out well for him. We'll soon find out. I don't think it will. <laughs> Because I think I remember last time when we didn't have many angles and it didn't go well. But it's up to you. 
You didn't add Leo Rush versus Ricochet. Okay, sorry, mate. Where do you want that match? Do you want that as the opener? Yeah, Leo Rush versus Ricochet would be a very good match in real life as well. I could, for some reason, I could just imagine Leo Rush versus Ricochet in a match and then also Bronson Reed versus Killian Dane or Ivar as like two matches on a random PWG show back in the day. They would definitely be up there after Imperium match. Uh, who do you want to win? Ricochet, I assume. Let me, yeah, Ricochet. Okay. Right. What have I done here? I paused up here, haven't I? I don't. Yeah. 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 Right. What have I ballsed up here? I've ballsed up something. I know I have. Uh, we need to push this down further. Yeah. Right. So the main event's fine. That's fine. Right. Is there anything you want me to change? No, it's uh if you go to book a match it says No, we've took um we've took like things off like that so we can just book as much as we want, uh Jay. Add a new day and judgment day angle, okay. I'll uh, I'll put I'll put Finn Balor scripted, um, because last time, remember when he didn't have him scripted, and it didn't go well. And then, uh, JD, Dom. Add Owen and Styles angle both rated on mine. Right, is there anything else? Let me know. And then I'll start it. If you don't if you if you want me to add something else, let me know. If not, just say you're ready to go. All good, okay. Uh the Dynasty one, yeah, let me just click on it so you can see it. Yeah, Dynasty Heavyweight title. Right. You ready to go? Cool. Okay. Right, the big meaty, the meaty men match got an 82 rating. Uh, that's good. The tag title, the women's tag title match got an 83, 86 rating, sorry. Uh, Piper Niven only got a 64 rating. Dakota Kai's decent ish. Obviously, the Viking Raiders. Oh, I ballsed up there. I forgot to put Lud I put I forgot to put Imperium as the winner. Sorry, mate. My bad. Sorry, Dave. I think that's the only time I've ever done that where I forgot to put the. Uh, the winner in the match, so it, it ended up picking the Viking Raiders to win. Sorry, I can't go back and change it either, unfortunately. Um, Apollo, Apollo Crews defeated Bron Breaker, got a 74 rating. Uh, lack of psychology, so maybe this match should have been scripted then. 
um, specifically. Just a just a might be a good idea for future reference matches with Apollo Crews or Bron Breaker. You might want to script them or do a slow build. Uh, angle with Dalton Castle in, introducing himself. Got a forty nine rating. Ricochet versus Leo Rush got an 80 rating. Yeah, sorry Dave. I'll I'll uh I'll put my hands up on that one, I apologize. But anyway, um right. The angle got a 77 rating. Uh the match got an 89 rating. Biggie versus Nakamura got a 91 rating. Uh, the angle with AJ and Kevin Owens got a 95 rating. See, these two are really strong on the mic, so you probably are good. It's a good idea that you are putting these on the mic a bit more. And then the match got a 90 rating. Kevin Owens is the first ever Dynasty Heavyweight Champion. And you got an 89 rating. So, uh, limited number of viewers there. We need to do something, yeah. Well done, though. Well done, Dave. We need to do something about that Oceana thing. Um, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see if we can find a TV deal specifically for Australia, New Zealand after this when this finishes in a second. Yeah, but well done, Dave. Good, well, nicely booked show. You done well, mate. You done well, mate. Oh. Do, 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 do. Uh, Oscar has Oscar has given the opinion that Piper Niven is charismatic, so you might want to start pushing her. Uh, breakdown the Dynasty pay per view got twenty four million viewers, so. Right, I need to, where is it, uh, that one, no, no, where is it, that one, there we go, right, coverage, Oceana, right, we just need to look for the best, ESPN maybe, no, no, Fox Sports, medium, 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 Big, so MTV maybe we'll try and get huge. Right, let's try Prime NZ. New Deal for events. How do we do the? Re oh yeah, no worries, mate. We won't we won't carry on after this anyway. We'll. We'll call it a day in a minute. I'm gonna. I need Josh's help for uh, figure out this TV deal thing. So I'll be back on Monday, Dave. So just be back on Monday, two p.m. Mate, have a nice weekend. All the best. Hope it goes well at the dentist. No, we won't book the next show. Don't worry. That, it's uh, it's all right because it's Josh's show next anyway. So it should be all right. Josh. When it comes to this TV, oh, you can't see what I can see. Hold on, let me just add it. Uh... Right. Yeah, so what do I do here again with the negotiations? I'm trying to get us more coverage in Oceana area, continent. 48 episodes. I don't think... You, oh, you can. Yeah, 48. Yeah. What do we do about the revenue split again? Go as high as possible until it asks you to pay. Okay. 
Oh, so 25% is the highest? Yeah, so I'll just do that then. Okay. Hold on, late evening, do we need to change that? Prime time, should we try prime time? Change late evening, yeah. What do you want me to change to prime time? Yeah, but it's not just Dave's events, it's all of our events. But yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. What I do what when I when it comes to negotiating Asians with Dynasty, I'll uh I'll make sure I pick like a, a like a lower time slot for him. Prime is most money, yeah. Okay. Sorted. Right, I just need to negotiate one for Raw and one for SmackDown. And one for Dynasty. I'm just trying to see if there's any other huge ones. Uh, no. Right, so it was MTV was big. So we'll do... Actually, hold on. We might be able to just negotiate with these... Um, new deal for Raw for Dynasty so 4 years 48 uh, we're doing this for Dynasty aren't we so we'll do early evening so it makes it easier for so you can't see that why can't you see that that's so annoying Uh, yeah, just bear with us. I know what I've, I've, I've took up. I'm doing early evening because it means the minimum quality is only 82, so it makes it easier for uh, for Dave. Right. Um, right, 25%. So they're happy with that. And then negotiate. Raw. Just give us a couple of minutes. I'm just going to do this now. Do the same as you said before. Uh, we can't negotiate any... We can't negotiate. Me, Raw and SmackDown can't negotiate any deals with Oceana because of the obviously the deal that we've got with Netflix. But it doesn't matter because we've added events and we've added Dynasty, so hopefully that'll boost the popularity in Oceana. So hopefully that'll sort that out. Uh, let's just see where we are. So our next show is Raw. So I'm just going to click one more. Just get this day done. I ain't going to book the next show. Um. So we'll just call it a day early to this week uh, for today. I'll just see if anything happens on here. You doing anything exciting on the weekend, uh, Josh or Jay? Any any exciting plans? I'm going to a Brazilian steakhouse buffet on Saturday, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to eat so much meat. Ah, uh, you got your lad. Fair play. Are you doing anything with him? Nah, not on tomorrow. I'm not on for the uh, till Monday now, Josh. Uh, been single parent this week as wife. He has to work trip across the country. So, yeah, you probably miss her, Jay. At the end of the day, I always get, I always miss my um, girlfriend when she is not at mine on the night. I can't. I, I struggle to sleep if she's not in the same bed as me. Um, so yeah, I know how that feels, mate. But yeah, we, we, uh, hopefully you two have a nice weekend. Uh, I'll be back on Monday, 2 p.m. UK time. Uh, thank you as always, Josh. Thank you, Jay, for popping in again. Much appreciate it, my friend. Enjoy your weekends, lads. Um, hope it goes well for Dave at the dentist. Hopefully the dentist isn't Isaac Yankum. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it, lads. All the best. See you later. Bye.